Kenny here with Gardening Simplified. I'm out here in the greenhouse today and we're going to talk about growing grapefruits from seeds. Now, this video is comprised of a few days, it's over time time period, so you can see the start through the, the uh, finish. I'm going to say finish. Uh, it takes four to five years for grapefruits to start bearing, so we're going to go to where it's in its pot waiting to grow up. It's January 10th and uh, we're fixing to plant some uh, grapefruits. And they're very easy to grow from seed. First thing you got to do is strip the outside off of them. And this here is one of them that's already stripped off. And she's got me another one right there. And we're going to, we're just going to put them in on a damp or moist uh, paper towel. And we're going to cover them with another one. And it shouldn't take just two, three days to uh, start putting out roots. And then we're going to go ahead and plant it. Uh, so let's see what happens. All right, I have them all in there. I'm going to cover these up with another paper towel. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to mash whatever extra moisture out and dump it off. That way it's not too much in there. And then we're just going to put the top on this little container. And we'll put a little tag and date so we know when we started this. And let's see what happens. It's January 17th. Uh, and I've already planted one of these, but uh, I'm potting them up as they start rooting. And you can see the root coming out here. Now, when we peeled this back, it looked like maybe the root was up there that it was trying to start. But actually, uh, the, the root was coming out this other end over here. So anyway, what we're going to do is... Or what I'm going to do is I don't have a mouse in my pocket. I'm going to put this seed in this container and I'm putting the root down and I'm covering up and I'm going to water it. Now these other ones aren't quite ready. They're getting there, but they're not quite ready. But it's been uh, seven days and two of them. Now all of them weren't put in here at the same time. I had about five that I put in first. And... Uh, then I added a few more as, as we eat more grapefruits, uh, the more the merrier, see. But uh, that's where we are at a week. Finally, we're going to put it in the pot. It's January 28th, and you can see the little uh, leaves. These leaves are so small, you'd think for something big as a grapefruit uh, tree that they'd be bigger, but... What I'm wondering, right over here beside it, and it's got another one coming up. Now, there's only one seed here, but it's growing more like it's a bush or like it's multiple plants in a seed. I don't know. I've never grown a grapefruit before, but I think it's uh, so neat to to watch and, and see when it starts uh, doing its little thing. So anyway, here's an update, and uh, we'll wait a few more days and see what it looks like. Today is January 31st, and I'm going to do an update. It's appeared to change. It's uh, putting out its first set of true leaves, which is uh, rather quick. This thing is, uh, it was actually potted in here uh, on the uh, 17th, I believe. But it has this extra one growing up from the seed. And all of my uh, grapefruit seeds that I planted has at least one extra one coming up. And, and I'm, I'm not sure if they tend to want to grow from a bush from the seeds or what. But anyway, I'm going to, as you see, I got rid of that extra one. And I'm going to train this into uh, a single stem 
Uh, we'll probably keep it fairly short because uh, I'm going to grow it in a container. But uh, anyway, that's that's my update. Uh, it's doing great. It's taking off, like I say, with those first true leaves coming out. It's February 11th. Now this little joker here is really taking off. It's starting to get its third set of leaves. The leaves are starting to get a little size to them. And we're going to pull these little tags out of here. Uh, and this thing is starting to get its roots to the bottom. Now normally I wouldn't water this. I had watered it. Uh, but normally when I'm going to up pot, I wouldn't water it. That way it sticks together better. But I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Hopefully we won't fall apart too much uh, while we're doing this. But I'm going to put it into a one-gallon pot. That way I don't have to worry about up potting for a while. Uh, the way I do this is I just put my... I'm using some potting soil. I just put it in there, and as you can see, it forms a nice little... Uh, <coughs> area there that's perfect for this cutting so so now what I'm going to try to do without doing a lot of damage to this is just drop it off in that hole now you can see how nice that fits in there uh, we'll just take and make sure we've got it uh, set down solid now now this this potting mix I use that does have a little bit of fertilizer in it and I, I put a little bit of organic fertilizer to add to it but uh, now when you're up potting this this is a tree so so you don't want to go a lot deeper than what it was uh, for one we don't want to cause any problems there but you want to make sure you firm the soil around the edge so that the roots aren't going to have a lot of air now this potting soil is well drained so it's going to uh, let a lot of the moisture out March 24th and this is what we're looking at these are in one gallon pots now once they rooted to the bottom of their smaller pots that they had I had moved them up so they can stay here for a while uh, but I have a bunch of grapefruits I actually have 34 I might have got carried away a little bit but you know you can always give some away or sell them whatever you want to do but anyway these are these are some of the earlier ones now i'm doing a single seed challenge too and this one here is my single seed challenge which i'll do a separate video on that one but anyway you can see it's not too hard uh like I say it's going to take them a while these these were uh and i have the date on here when it started this one was 117 and so it's, it's been about two and a half months or a little over two months. Uh, and they're just now getting up. Of course, once they really get to getting a hold on there, they're going to grow. But it's going to take them at least, well, I'm going to say at least it could vary. They say four to five years uh, on average. You know, these could start bearing in uh, three years. But anyway, I hope you uh, like this progression you just kind of see how to do it now i have actually planted blood oranges too i have i have some of them which is for us to look at the the plant and, and they were planted a little bit later uh and i have some red grapefruits here but they were planted later and they're a little bit smaller the difference in the blood oranges is you don't have to uh peel the seed like you do with the grapefruit to get it to germinate quick it'll germinate over time uh and uh anyway that's kind of where we're sitting but if you if you want to follow the progression of these or or learn more tips about uh gardening and planting well i'd say hit that subscribe button hit the bell button and of course give it a big thumbs up that helps my channel and you can share this with your friends. Happy gardening.